Good afternoon, you two. Old Rusty here again today to talk about a, a fun little mechanic that I kind of happened upon. Uh, in the Discord a few days ago, uh, Tech Rock, Mob Farming, I don't remember which, someone posted a video of a player in, uh, I believe, China who was utilizing uh, a bug using uh, evokers with looting three uh, to get all sorts of slime. And then someone said, yeah, we missed the immortal bug. And then I said, what's that? Long story short, uh, you could kill an evoker without it actually dying and then give it a sword. Well, turns out that you didn't have to actually kill it first. Because what I went and played around with and found out was uh, for some reason evokers have an inventory slot. So I'm going to show you right now. Don't mind the vexes. Theirs are just there so that evoker doesn't summon more. Uh, we'll talk about vexes in a little bit. Look at his hands waving. Now. In this drop, in this dispenser, I have a netherite sword. I just gave it to the evoker. And when he does his fang attack next, he holds it. Big whoop, right? Except you can put looting three on a sword. And then, for whatever reason, that looting three effect is applied to that fang attack. And well... Some people have messed with this for Enderman farm, and that's okay. That's useful. You could use this for breezes to get to kill them AFK. An evoker killer with looting three. But that's not ridiculous enough. And then it occurred to me, I like bone meal, but I don't want to have to kill skeletons for bone meal. So what happens then? I'm gonna turn mob spawning on. And we're at a mangrove. You could build this, though. You could build this uh, kind of setup in an ocean or underground in the lush cave, but I wanted mangroves with tropical fish. And, well, we have several things going on here, so first we'll watch it for a second. Now, that is a 16 by 2 that that area of effect is because apparently when the fangs get summoned in, it's not like every other mob now. It still spawns on the northwest corner. And it fills up the whole block. And look at all those fish. Now wait for it. He's gonna... See? He shot off his fang attack at that villager. And now he's gonna go and shoot it off at this one. So what's happening here is... Is one, I have a trap door. And two villagers, one on each side. Because I might capture one evoker for a fish farm. But no one's gonna go get a bunch. And apparently, also, if you've been paying attention to creeper farms lately, a lot of them have used ice because mobs will sit there and pathfind off of ice to solid blocks. Apparently, so do fish. Now, once they get to that solid block, then they enter their free roaming stage and they'll go swimming all back around again, which is why I have this offset by one level flowing downward. There are no water source blocks here, but these fish are just going to keep coming in here. And then once they are, they're trapped. And then they die. I'm not even filling the mob cap here with fish, which, by the way, is 36. And all that keeps happening is all these tropical fish that have a range for me from 12 to 32 will spawn in all, somewhere on this ice. Then they're going to detect those solid blocks and swim to it. And then my evoker, holding... In this case, I wanted a golden sword because I thought it was kind of funny. Using looting three. And well, when you use looting three on a fish, it won't drop bones all the time. But when it does drop bones, I've seen them drop up to eight. A skeleton will only give you anywhere between zero and five. Fish won't give you any sometimes, but they might give you eight. And well, long story short, this makes about... 4,600 bones an hour. Oh, let me get out of here. And this is all that's going on under here. Is I have two hopper minecarts to collect these two little areas right here. And this will make about one and a quarter stacks of bones a minute. Which works out to about 13,500 bone meal an hour from tropical fish. Now, the reason these vexes are down here is because... When this evoker goes to do one of its attacks, one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to utilize fangs, or it's going to summon vexes. 
Now, if you have it on a transparent block, like, say, glass, and there's no so nothing around it, its immediate area, it can't summon vexes. But it's still going to try, which means it's not doing its fangs. But if it detects eight vex within, I think, eight blocks of it, might be six, oh, 16 blocks, I'm sorry, it's just not even going to try and summon them. And what that means is every single time that trapdoor flips open for one of those villagers, he sees it and then sends it his way. Now, of course, I've got this guy standing on a transparent block. There is enough room for me to have my evoker, then a glass block, then 16 solid blocks, followed by another empty space right here, and then have it standing on a glass block. I trigger everything with a minecart just zipping around. This evoker needs a couple seconds cooldown between attacks or it starts getting confused and its AI bugs out. And the rest of the time, it's just sitting there murdering fish. This is the trident killer I've always wanted for fish because there's so many fish and you can get so many bones, but getting this thing into something to kill it, to get looting three, well, that's ridiculous. Or you could just find a friend. You could build this in any uh, ocean. You could build it in a mangrove or a lush cave. You're probably gonna get better rates with tropical fish, but this would still work in another biome. You could even have all these rails tail down here. You just have to waterlog them. And I've tested this thing a lot. I've been clearing it out, and it it makes a lot of bones. 13,400 bone meal an hour from a, really this is about six, this is a 38 by 38 with a whole bunch of ice, some glass around the sides, and then just AFK for a while. This is the fish farm I've always wanted. Silly mechanics with a silly evoker holding a sword that for whatever reason applies looting three. Oh, you gotta capture some vex, but that's okay. That evoker is gonna give them to you anyway. And then you got a name tag all of them. Uh, you'll have less rates without the vex down there, but that's still good. This is gonna make a lot, but if I'm gonna use an evoker and I'm only gonna use one, I want the most out bang for my buck. So, I don't even know what to call this. You can use the same trick. <laughs> so, oh, this 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 is ridiculous. Why is this even a thing in Minecraft? I have no idea. Like why? And it counts as a melee attack. You can use this on Endermen. You can use this on Breezes if you really want to go to the trouble of getting this thing. Just put a target like a villager that he wants to attack and you are good to go. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so much. So many fish bones. There's a lot of practical applications for this. Surprisingly, this is one of them. Summon an evoker from a raid. Capture some vex. Use some villagers as bait and then give them a looting three sword. 13,400 bone meal an hour from fish in a mangrove swamp. Old Rusty out. <laughs>